I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Carlissa has a few choice words for Keon Henderson and how he handled his church service. Make it make sense. I would have told Pastor Keon, if you don't sit, move your ass back on other to that other end of that pulpit, I'm talking to the Lord on this end. That lady was crazy for being quiet for that man. She gonna get in trouble for that one day too. That was not his place to tell her to be quiet. You know it. You don't hop on there and tell nobody why they hum daddy say hum daddy and talking to the Lord about they whatever they got going on. He don't know what that lady had going on. And the Lord might have been giving her a message for all of them to run up out of that church. And she let that man stop her message to the Lord. She was crying to the Lord. She wasn't crying to him. How he going to tell her to be quiet? I wish I wish one of y'all pastors would tell me to be quiet when I'm crying out to the Lord. I bet. I'm going to tell the Lord right while I'm crying. Hold on, Lord. I'll be right back. And I'm going to shove that pastor to the other end of that bench. Look at him like he crazy and go right back to my spot. And hum daddy say hum daddy some more. Now, he lucky he got the right lady on that day. Because me and him would have been balled up in a knot. Because, honey, if he would have caught me 13 years ago in that in there crying about my son in that jail... We would have had a whole, he would have had a whole motherfucking problem, okay? <laughs> Pastor Keon would have been, <laughs> Pastor uh, would have been pastor on the floor. Now somebody should have, my, my husband would have told him to back up, honey. If he would have, because my husband, no, I'll be praying and talking to the Lord, honey. You ain't going to interrupt what the Lord telling me. Now the Lord could have been telling that lady to tell everybody in that church to run out of there. And she done let this man silence her from talking to the Lord. She must not have been really talking to the Lord. Because the Lord, I don't think he would have let you take no intermission. I don't think he would have been able to let you even hear that man. Y'all been over there crying to the Lord before and you can't hear nothing but him. How she even hear that man telling her to be quiet? Girl, bye. Ain't no way, no hell, no how. She was crying to the Lord too and silenced her tears to the Lord because that man told her, we're going to hear from the Lord today. She was already hearing from him. Now he could do his hmm, humming and humming and hmm and hawing to the Lord, but she couldn't. Girl, he wouldn't see no more of my tithes at all. He wouldn't have got none of my money in that change box, honey. They, every time it go around, I'll just look at it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Exactly. That's the whole point of her going there. It wasn't to see you, Pastor Keon. That lady was in there to see Jesus. She was in there to talk to the Lord. And, and he got a hold of her, and she got a hold of him. And she was having her moment. And then you just said, we going to be quiet? We have a church pastor ever told you to be quiet. And it wasn't like she was like disrupting or it wasn't like she was just going too extra or too hard. That lady was going just enough that you could have gave her three or four more minutes. talking about oh yeah never mind y'all we was talking about one of the people in here said something about pastor keon telling the lady to be quiet in church you should let the leaders lead the only leader is the lord and if he talking to you you don't let nobody else lead you nowhere free pizza and and pastor keon what is she talking about she must have just got on here he is shaquille o'neal's ex-wife's new man new husband shaquille o'neal's ex-wife's 
new husband. That's who he is, and that's who she let silence her in the church. All right, y'all, I got to go home. I got a babysitter, and I only got four more hours of a babysitter. Callie got me a babysitter for today for 12, for four, for six hours, y'all. <laughs> I done spent a whole hour of it talking to y'all, and my husband do not know where I'm at. I'm telling y'all, one thing about my house, even though my kids is all crazy right now, it might look real crazy, but my house was hilarious. I'm talking about every single one of them. When y'all see Callie on baddies, when y'all see Callie on baddies, we just going we all gonna nod because she is funny as hell. Callie is funny. She act like my sister and my and my cousin. Callie funny as shit. Blue is funny and Dre is somewhat funny, but Dre couldn't really be that funny because he was always like trying to act like he was Suge Knight or somebody. He was always trying to be the scary one so he wasn't that funny but he, he a little funny sometimes but blue and cali oh my god they used to make fun of each other and make my stomach hurt that's why nothing y'all say about them nothing y'all say about blue or cali is probably gonna hurt their feelings because they didn't already said it to each other honey them two right there wake up talking shit you hear me go to sleep talking shit Do you have Indian in your family? Um, just my new, my, uh, my son's new wife. <laughs> my son, Andre wife is Native American. If I did have some, I would be over there trying to get some of y'all money. She a Taurus. She is hilarious I wanted her to tell y'all the story about her PTSD when she got home from the Zeus Network uh, baddies she gotta tell y'all that I told her she gotta do it she just gotta tell it as soon as the season and everything is out Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.